Close your eyes, watch your breath. And try to bring new eyes to the breath. When you breathe in, exactly where do you feel it? Try to put aside all your preconceived notions. And try to be directly with the sensation of the breathing. Because you want to bring knowledge to your experience of the senses, knowledge to your experience of the body. And the big thing that stands in the way of your knowledge is old knowledge, preconceived notions. This is why it's good in English we have the distinction between knowledge and awareness. Bring as much awareness as you can to the breath so you know what you're doing. know what you're dealing with and know the results that you're getting. Because ignorance is the big cause of suffering. And as John Lee used to point out, it's not that we don't know anything, we have our ideas. You think the way that the way to Bangkok goes left when it's actually right, it's not that there's a big blank in your mind. You have you have another piece of what you think is information getting in the way. Someone once objected to the book, More Like Fire Unbound, saying that people in those days weren't scientists, so they didn't have any theories about how fire worked. Well, of course they had theories. The Vedic sages had been staring at fire for who knows, who knows how many millennia, worshipping it, trying to figure out what it could do for them. And so they had lots of ideas about fire. So even when people don't have information, they fill in the gaps. This is the problem with our mind. We play connect the dots. We have a little bit of information here, a little bit of information there, and then we draw the line in between. And as you know, with connect the dots, sometimes the dots could be almost anything, depending on the lines you draw. So try to erase the old lines, and then observe really what's happening. And to observe clearly, you have to observe consistently. Stick with it. That's when you see. Because we're, we're precisely trying to see connections. When you do something, what are the results? When you do something else, do the results change? And the only way you're going to see that is if you look at it consistently. If you let your views get in the way, then you're not really going to know. You know the old story of the Zen master. Someone comes to visit him and the Zen master notices that this person is full of opinions, full of pride. So the Zen Master pours him a cup of tea, and he just keeps pouring and pouring and pouring, and the tea is overflowing the cup. And the person finally says, Um, oh, you're overflowing the cup. And the Master says, In the same way, if I tried to teach you anything, it would just fall out. You've got to empty out your views first, and then you can see. Well, it's not just in listening to the drama that you have to empty out your old views. It's just watching everything that goes on in your life. And particularly watching what you're doing, watching the results that you're getting, because often they're not going to be the things you expected or the things you believed in before. But the only way you're going to learn something new is if you put your old beliefs off to the side and just watch. And then watch the watching to make sure that you're not letting other things slip in. This is the only way we're going to overcome our ignorance, is by first admitting that we have ignorance and to admitting that a lot of our knowledge is ignorance. That's when we're ready to know.